So today we're going to talk about social media etiquette. Doesn't Kiwi already do a video on that? Well, shit, uh, etiquette about first years? I'm pretty sure there are hundreds of videos of that on the internet already. Come on, be more original. Ah, oh, darn it. Um, has anyone talked about live streaming etiquette yet? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, quick, before someone else does it. We're gonna do that! Live stream etiquette! Ready, set, go! Wait, am I ever going to have my own video, or are we just going to assume like I don't exist? So hello everyone! I know some of you guys were a little uh, worried because I was sick. You might still be able to hear it in my voice. I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm not dead. Those of you who asked if I, I, I died, I, I didn't, didn't die. I'm here. Good. Nothing bad happened. I just got very, very sick and didn't talk for like five days. Here it is, roughly. But for those of you guys who were worried, thanks, but uh, I'm fine. It's just normal when it's really heckin' cold outside that I just kinda get sick. But uh, <laughs> that's just me. Yay! But uh, yeah, for those who were worried, um, don't worry. I had a very established arsenal to help me get through this. Not today, Satan. But yeah, aside from me being kind of really sick and I'm unable to say words or sounds, like I couldn't even make sounds with my face. I really don't know what it is. Let's get back to the thing this video is actually about. Oh, yeah, I'm so good at staying on topic, okay? Live streaming and how to not be a dick and somebody's live stream. Why I'm covering this topic is mystery to everyone. You can ask me Fox, I'm probably not the most qualified, but fuck it, let's go. So oddly enough, this shouldn't be rocket science, right? Be nice, don't spam, all that good stuff. You'd think this video wouldn't need to exist, but here we are, making it, and I'm sure you can guess why. With live streaming, your favorite YouTubers are becoming more and more accessible. You can not only chat it up in the comments, you can also chat it up in their live chat and on Twitter, you know, whatever else you usually do. However, unlike the comments and unlike everything else, you have a more immediate impact. A streamer can see right on the side of their screen that you are talking to them. And that is terrifying, let me tell you. In fact, sometimes you have their undivided attention for 24 hours. Kiwi, seriously, enough with the 24 hours thing, dude. I'm worried about you. Honestly, get some sleep. Stop it, get some help. With all this newfound access, it means a lot of new and amazing ways to interact with your favorite content creators, which can also translate into new and horrifying ways to, um, hear us shitless. Let's cover a few of these. Wow, you can now talk to us almost one-to-one -one in real time via a chat box. I know this isn't a new concept really, but it's new for YouTube, shut up. Whether you're tuning in on YouTube or Twitch, you can share your thoughts as they happen in your head through the streamer. I'm sensing you don't see how this could go wrong. Just keep a minute. It's honestly that a sweat of fucking god. It's honestly super awesome to see people chiming in with support, encouragement, and their take on whatever it is we're talking about or doing. Cool! However, what isn't cool is real-time trolling. That's a thing. Spamming nonsense. Saying the n-word just to see how fast our mods can swing their ban hammers. Uh, mine swing them pretty fast. So if you could not do that, that would be great. Sometimes even trying to get a rise out of us personally by asking us to show our faces on stream or reveal our real names. Can we stop with that? It's 2019 and by now you should know I am very much against that. I don't want to. And if I ask you politely not to ask, can you take my ass? So being intent on staying off the ban list or shit list of some of your favorite content creators when they go live. Here are some tips. Don't ask for personal information. Don't spam shit. That should be obvious, though, right? Should be. Don't say the N-word. That should not be a thing I have to tell you, but I'm going to tell you just in case you didn't get it the first time and growing up. Do say hi, but only once or twice. 
You don't need to tell us hi 50 times. Jesus Christ on a bicycle. Do ask questions. Do chat with others in the live chat. You're all watching us together. Why not make a friend? And do subscribe and hit the bell. Via Streamlabs and Super Chat, some creators allow you to share media, allow your messages to be heard live via a disembodied cortado like voice thing. And even interact with certain widgets that are enabled. So cool, right? Yeah! Here's the thing though. As a YouTuber, we deserve the right to turn that shit off or put it on auto versus manual as we see fit. And while we like to hear every piece of media play, sometimes you guys get a little bit twisted. Sharing pickle ASMR? Hey, it's a laugh riot. Go ahead! Sharing videos with uh, Nazis or anti-feminist shit or stuff that we have explicitly said we don't want to see? Not funny! Sending us heavily copyrighted videos just so uh, we get channel strikes or demonetize. Don't know why we keep doing that even though we keep asking you not to. Did you not do that? That's just maybe. Similarly, text-to-speech is pretty cool! It's honestly really funny to hear and other similar groups here and there, but a few of you have wisened up and learned that some of us own Alexis. And as you might expect, text-to-speech can trigger them pretty easily. While some of you in the past have had an absolute blast changing the colors of the lights in my room, or getting her to play the Croatian national anthem, thanks Mark Spark, why did you have to teach people it to do that? A few of you have gone just a bit too far. <clears throat> On several streams, not just my own, and not just for YouTubers, I have seen some of you sneaky bastards try to get her to tell you our location, tell people we know, or access our Amazon shopping list. Now that might seem funny, but if you take a minute and sit on this side of the desk for like a hot second, you might realize that that's really creepy. Now don't get us wrong, we appreciate you donating. You Appreciate that you invested in us, literally. But you have to understand that when you're just going about your day and some random person on the internet wants to add a demonetization relax one to your shopping cart, that's weird. My own, my own friends don't even do that. That's creepy. And not speaking of that, on a similar topic, as you might have guessed, donating to a stream doesn't entitle you to that information either. Don't get me wrong, your support has helped immensely, and I sincerely couldn't have kept my shit together without it. But a donation is a kind gesture, not a bargaining chip. Donating, no matter what amount, isn't something to be used for leverage. It's essentially a tip, and what a streamer chooses to do with that tip is entirely up to them. That being said, sometimes we have donation goals. We want to hit X amount for Y reason, and we'll tell you that up front. But sometimes we don't. Sometimes we just leave Streamlabs enabled, and if you would like to donate, that's a tip. Where it goes, it's none of business, frankly. Usually I'll say where it'll go, but just be aware that streamers don't have to tell you where that shit's supposed to go. I don't ask you where your, the tips you make from work go in your line of work, so uh, what gives, man? And if you don't believe me, here's the actual Streamlabs terms of service as it relates to that. Along with that, be advised that using text-to-speech to circumvent a live chat ban and say hateful shit very loudly on stream via the text-to-speech function is not cool. And it's kind of a bad look. Thankfully, I haven't had to deal with this as much, but thankfully where it has arisen, Streamlabs allows you to IP ban people. So thanks for the tip, but maybe here's a tip for you. Don't do that. So, wanna donate and not get IP bands? Here's some helpful tips. Don't donate copyrighted music as much as you can. We get it. Sometimes you got that one jam and you gotta rock out and you can't help yourself. We understand. Try to keep the donation short though, like maybe 20 seconds at the most, so that we have less of a chance of being hit by content ID and getting demonetized, please. Don't assume donations are an all access 
access paths to our personal life. They are not. Don't try to use them as leverage. That's kind of fucked up. Going to lie. If you're hoping to hold money over people's head for that information, maybe you should be donating. Maybe you should get a hobby, like crochet. Please don't try and dox your favorite creators by triggering our Alexas. Come on, man. That's not cool. Don't donate just so you can say some hateful shit because one of my moderators did their job and danged me. That's just kind of petty, and while I respect the petty hustle, you're really just wasting your money because if I see something hateful, I'm probably going to be banned. So do donate to uh, support your favorite creators. Do show us funny and heartwarming videos if you want to chip a few bucks and get us to laugh. We love that stuff. It's super fun. It helps our job be a little bit easier. Not easy talking to a, a camera in a house by myself for hours. So thanks. It actually does help sometimes when you get a dumb video. Even if it is Piccolo ASMR or Toys the Bottom. Just saying. In my case, do leave goofy textings like do 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 It seems dumb, but I think it's funny. Not all your favorite creators will, but I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. And finally, do realize that you don't need to donate when you watch the stream. We just appreciate that you're there. We're just happy to talk to you and entertain you in ever, whatever way we can. Whatever way you prefer, really. That's within YouTube guidelines. But you don't have to donate. You're there to watch, and we're happy you're there, because without you, we wouldn't have any audience, and you know the rest. I don't have to tell you. So what all this really boils down to is don't be a dick. No, really, just don't be a dick, and you're going to be fine. I hope this has been informative and enlightening. Now go out there and pickle ASMR the shit out of Kiwi. I mean, support your favorite content creator. Yay. Speaking of support and JDC subways, this video is also sponsored by Fragrances. Did you like that? Was that a, was that, was that a smooth video? Yeah. No, no, we didn't. I don't know why. Who am I kidding? Until February 28th, you can buy the official cupcake fursuit spray from fragrances and use the code showed on screen because i'm going to butcher it for 10 percent off of your final order um, yeah. also if you want more content like this feel free to uh, i don't have opposable thumbs but you can like it if you like it yeah is that a thought i don't know i don't think it's going to ah! you can also subscribe if you feel like it that would be cool and you can hit the bell for aesthetic purposes because really I don't think it's ever successfully told anyone that my content is on it. But if it has, feel free to tell me. I would love to know. Got something on your mind that sort of kind of relates to the video? Feel free to leave a comment. Just be aware that there are word filters on there and if you say some of those special words you might not uh, make it into the comment section. Sorry, that's I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Well, I do technically, but I don't make the rules. <laughs> but in Till the next video, have a lovely day, and don't be a dick, okay bye?